delightful. Let's open it up for some questions from the audience. Go ahead, young lady. Yeah, this question is for Greta. My best friend looks just like you, and her name is Gretel. Just like you, and she has a hamster named Hamster. Just like you. I just want to know, can you sign this t-shirt for her? Oh, sure, Bailey. Yes, she's going to love it so. Wait, how do you know my name? Superpowers? That is awesome! All right, next question. Welcome, Hamster and Gretel. Welcome to your doom. Guys, hurry, get in. Kevin, what are you doing? I'm getting you out of here. This is too dangerous. I'm sorry. Are we interrupting something? Can you just give us a minute? <sighs> we can't leave now. This guy's trying to take over City Hall. And that's a job for the police. Where are the police? Oh, that's the reason I chose tonight. The mayor gave everyone the night off to watch the live broadcast of the Duck Boys concert. Frankly, I'm surprised you're not watching it. Yes, yeah, so am I. You don't believe in me. I believe in you. Can you just get in the van? You think I can't take care of myself? Gretel, I'm trying to... You're my little sister. I mean, I know you got all these powers now, but I... It's my job to look out for you. I'm your big brother. Aw, oh, Kevin, you're a great big brother. You've been looking out for me my whole life. But things are different now. You've got superpowers. Me and Hamster, we've got this. You're right. You've got this. I'm getting out of your way. Finally. You're gonna get your butt kicked. Yes, by all means, take your time. You're not getting away with this, you know. Kevin will think of something, and then you'll be in trouble. So let me get this straight. The person I should be worried about is the one with no superpowers whatsoever. That's right, because big brothers always take care of their little sisters. <laughs> is that so? Yep, even when they can take care of themselves. Ah, uh, whatever. What are you going to do? The only thing special about you is your sister and her pet. And I've got them both trapped. Thanks, Kevin. You really are a great big brother. And you are a super little sister. Could we get on with my incarceration? This is not as comfortable as it looks. I'll talk to you later, Fred. I gotta roll. <laughs> with the yep. This is my life. I did the dishes last night. Letting the dog lick off the scraps is not doing the dishes. That's how Snow White does it. Snow White doesn't have a chore board. Always follow the chore board. Stay, Stay out, out of this. this. I'm not always late. You're always early. That doesn't make any sense. Your face doesn't make any sense. Hello, evil villain here. Stay, Stay out, out of this. this. I said I want a burger. This is the burger place. I want the burger from the taco place. You're impossible. Your face is impossible. Just take me to jail already. Stay, Stay out, out of this. this. Love you, babies. Stay evil. Lyle, you almost hit me. Lyle! Fist Buncher, my name is Fist Buncher. Hey, free boat. Did I bake those myself? Hamster, you're going the wrong way. Uh, I'd like you to stay after class. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally evil. I saw you and your hamster on TV and realized that this superhero girl is just some regular kid out there. So for two long, boring weeks, I subbed elementary school classes all over town until I finally found you. But how did you know it was me? Well, your name is Greta, and you have a pet hamster, and you think that would have been enough, but I still didn't put it together till a couple hours ago when I saw that you are right-handed and Gretel is also right-handed. If you or your rodent try to do anything stupid, your brother is mincemeat. Okay, Boomer, no one says mincemeat anymore. That is very funny. Then why aren't you smiling? using 
powers? That's what guys with no powers always say. Hold. Apples, ice water? Come on, hamster, I need you to rescue Gretel. Hamster, you need to scream a secret into the cup. I'm a hamster. I don't have any secrets. You need to do it. Me? Yes, Kevin, quickly. I'm fading. Sometimes I smell my socks after taking them off, and if they don't smell like soup, I wear them again. Hamster? Okay, I'm better. It worked? No, I was just messing with you. The water did the trick. Let's go. Thanks, Hamster and Gretel and, um, random teenage boy. <laughs> getting a slushie, which is good because statistically speaking, the food court is the safest place to be during a superhero battle. Sharpened claws of my wrath? Weird. Sounds like something out of a comic book. Wait a second. I know that voice. He was in the shop a few weeks ago. Man, Cat would destroy Hamster and Gretel. Bro, H and G have actual powers and work as a team. Man, Cat would get stomped. Not if he had a big trust fund, and a degree in mechanical engineering, an armor that he built in his stepdad's unfinished basement, and a burning desire to make people respect me. I mean, him. Well, that was oddly specific. One day I'll show you, I'll show all of you, and then you kittens will witness the sharpened claws of my, um, of my... I would like to purchase these comics. But how do we get the information to Gretel? Well, that's, I. Uh, that is, I, uh... I have read somewhere that Gretel has super hearing. If we just read it out loud from here, I'm sure she's gonna hear us. No problem. I don't think that's how super hearing works. Hey, Gretel, can you hear me? I'm reading it out loud. Like this. Um, I can hear you just fine, Kevin. Whoa, she knows your name? She's probably just assuming. I mean, I look like a Kevin. You do, actually. Wow. Thanks, hamster. Kevin, that was hamster. The hamster! Yeah, pretty neat for a rodent. Thanks for the help, Citizen Kevin. Glad I could always count on you to be yourself. Anything for the greater good. And thank you, Citizen Hiromi. Uh, hold up. How does the city's first superhero, first female superhero, actually know my name? You, uh, look like a Hiromi. You do, actually. Oh. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Beating the previous most exciting thing that was when I won the radio contest. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, cute kitty. Come on, you can do it. Come on. I can't wait to tell my best friend, who's also named Gretel. <laughs> wow, such a totally random coincidence. Ew, peppermints. You don't like peppermints either? My friend Gretel hates peppermints. I meant, ooh, peppermints. Love them. Mmm. Kevin, why aren't you answering? That's funny. My best friend has a brother named Kevin. Oh, that's another really implausible coincidence. My Kevin just stands for... Kind Electronic Voice Investigation Nano Computer. Wouldn't that be Kevin? Yeah, the computer is silent. Hey, do you know any possibly useful facts on horses that you would have learned from, let's say, a school report from two weeks ago? I do! I did a school report on horses exactly two weeks ago. What a coincidence! Right? 